Hello everyone. Welcome to part eight of the Cityville construction series. This picks up after the crash in part seven. It turns out I didn't save as often as I probably should have which means I lost a little bit of development work that I did right before the crash. As a matter of fact, it was basically the area over here. So what I'm going to start with this time is reconstructing that area. Um, in all likelihood, it's not going to look exactly the same but that's generally what happens after a crash to desktop or some other sort of um, mischance. Okay, here we are. So the first thing I need to do is get rid of these farms. Okay, now if you recall, I needed a hospital and a school over here by the time I was done. Um, let's see, I built the roads first last time, and I believe I brought these straight down. This one I brought over like so, I believe. I may be wrong there. I may ch end up changing it. Anyway, uh, what did I need here? Okay, what did I have? 17. So that would give eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Okay, that's what I want there. Actually, I put a roundabout in here, didn't I? Anyway, uh, what do I have here? 15. So that would be 7 for a gap. That's not so useful. What do I have here? 10. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think I did have a roundabout here. Okay, I'll do that. Oh, I remember what I did there now. Okay. One way road. Oops. Uh, let's try that again. One way road. There we go. And there we go. I think that worked out better than it did last time. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. That's a gap of eight. I can leave that. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I can. Okay. I think this works better than the first time around. Okay. And next I need the uh, water. So. This is 
a quick thing. And just for completeness, okay. And now I need some residential, which I'll put against the uh, forest here. I'll make it commercial down through here. This will be commercial as well. Which way does that turn? Let's try that again. So fill this in, and I believe this will do. And also, I need to fill this in. Right, okay, and I need to fill in the middle of the roundabout. There we go. And, as I recall, I needed a hospital. And a school. And I believe I used the... Put that in the wrong way. Okay. Hospital, Mercy General. That's the right way around. Now. That should be fine. As should that. But let's bring the expenses in line a little better. And now, learning from my error last time, I'll save the game. Okay. Now let's speed it up and see what happens.
In case you're wondering why the volume might be a little bit lower on this one, it's uh, simply because I'm recording this uh, late in the evening and I want to avoid disturbing anybody who's trying to sleep at this point in time. Okay, uh, that's had long enough to run. Okay, now, what have we got in here? Uh, stock market. Well, we have a bunch of commercial stuff going on here. Why not a stock market? There we go. And I see we have nuclear power available. Uh, Fims, the Sims wish they had somewhere not to feed the animals. Um, whoever came up with some of these messages had a bit of a warped sense of humor, but then again, these are the same people that brought us the announcement reticulating splines on the SimCity 3000. Now, let's see. And we got a big league stadium. Uh, You know what? A stadium sounds like an excellent idea. Huh. Apparently you get a blimp with it. Yep. And the Disease Research Center, that seems like an excellent thing to have as well. You get that when you have enough hospitals in your city. Um, realistically, all these rewards have at least some benefit so it's worth building them if you can afford the ongoing maintenance and the ones that cost nothing to maintain even better definitely build them so for instance churches you definitely want to build those As you see, it didn't take long to go from mental midgets to everyone's a scholar. Ah, now the zoo. Yeah, we can afford the zoo. It doesn't seem right to put the zoo right beside a stadium. So what I'm going to do, how big is a zoo? Actually, I think right about here is the perfect place for a zoo. Donut with square hole. Um, okay. Now the fun thing about these special buildings is they still work even if they don't have water 
and some of them even without power which is kind of odd when you think about it anyway As you can see, things are developing quite nicely here. There's a fairly organic feel to the way the buildings have sprung up here. Yeah, we don't have one ultra mega cluster of tallish buildings. We have a couple of clusters. Uh, it's not surprising, like in a real town, to see a few tall buildings along the parkland. You may think this dense forest here uh, looks odd. Uh, it's mostly as a contrast to the bare ground in the rest of the city tile. That's because I didn't bother adding forest to it before I started building the city. Now, We've now broken 100,000 uh, sims in the city. That's actually uh, quite a, a good milestone. As you can see, there's still a fair amount of space left on the tile. Um, ultimately, Cityville itself is going to cover the entire city tile. Uh, the idea being the uh, adjacent uh, tiles will be the um, suburb area. Uh, I basically, this is the middle of a large city. So realistically, uh, it's going to sprawl a little bit. There is, however, a bit of a scale problem here. Population versus... Uh, um, land area. These large uh, city tiles are theoretically four kilometers per side and that um, you know that gives us uh, 16 square kilometers which um, it, you know a hundred thousand people uh, in 16 square kilometers gives you 6,250 people per square kilometer and that's uh, getting to be a pretty high density already and if we continue at this rate uh, of population growth we're looking at probably a city tile population around 300,000 and that gives us a population density of 18,750 per square kilometer. Now, there will likely be larger areas of the lower density stuff in the outlying areas here, but still, the density you can achieve with SimCity does seem rather high compared to uh, real life uh, cities. That's not to say the uh, really high density can't be achieved with a real city. Uh, it just, uh, at least in North America, doesn't seem to happen very often. Okay. Um, realistically, I need to find, figure out what I'm doing with this road or this avenue. Um, I think this area over here is gonna continue in the lower density uh, development, at least over near this highway here. Uh, so I'm going to end up uh, keeping uh, relatively low density over here. Uh, this green space will make it all the way down to this highway. Uh, where and this little industrial strip will also continue along here. Um, I may add another interchange here. I may do that, especially if I extend this. Uh, this is a well, this is a freeway it's not quite as big of a road as this one so 
a little more density on the interchanges is probably uh, doable, but these are highways and it just, um, you know, like realistically, this here, we're looking at barely, uh, what here, barely uh, 400 meters between interchanges. That doesn't, well, actually, no, this is approaching a kilometer. So that's tight, but uh, not that unreasonable. So you really don't want it much more dense than that. So realistically, maybe there'll be a couple of flyovers in here, but I won't likely be building a an actual interchange here. So this highway will continue exactly as it is. Uh, ultimately, I expect this will expand to uh, three lanes each way, and it'll be four lanes over top here and uh, this will turn into probably a full clover leaf, as opposed to the current trumpet interchange that's there. Okay, so since I, I figured out what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to bring this avenue down some distance here. And I'm going to clean out some of this farmland uh, here. And this uh, street here will continue down. Now, what gap was I using here? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I was using a twelve tile gap there. There's twelve tiles. And there's another. And there's another. Okay. There we go. And as there, these will come across. And this will continue down. Remember this is this area here is the green space. Now I need to get rid of this zoning. Okay, now, I don't actually need the industrial zoning just yet, but I'm going to put it in anyway. Because that's what it's ultimately going to be. Now over here, I believe I'm going to need a fire station and a police station. I don't remember if I've mentioned it before, but I use the large police stations because they come with a jail capacity that's non-trivial. They do. They're a little more effective than the uh, kiosks, but they uh, aren't quite as effective as the uh, bigger ones. Um, but the jail capacity means I don't actually have to build a jail uh, to handle inmates, and that all on its own is beneficial because nobody wants to live near a jail but for some reason people don't think twice about living near a police station where there may well be people in jail 
Now, what's this? Um, ooh, okay. So, what does this Museum of Sim Nation do? Well, you know, if we can have a museum, why not? Now, what about this Goober Gen Aquarium? Ah, there you go. There's the reason not to build the museum. Uh, let's see. It's expensive. Uh, okay, let's speed this up so that this updates. We don't have a lot of visitors, so we can tone this down quite a bit. And this is the important... Um, uh, the important feature of this thing uh, you really need to micromanage on some of these things so that you don't end up vastly over supporting them anyway this should make this area more desirable and let's look at the aquarium you know let's have the the aquarium over here now let's take a look at this one uh, same thing we'll back whoops that's too far we'll back off the funding to something saner um, and it has similar effect as the museum so there we go uh, It looks like the power situation is starting to get uh, important again. Now what do we have in here? We don't have the hydrogen power plant yet. Um, requirements. Uh, we need a 30,000 megawatt hours per month uh, demand and 4,000 high-tech industry so let's take a look at our power demand yeah we haven't hit 30,000 yet so that's why it's not available well now let's take a look at these yeah okay so I'll just build another one for now. Uh, this should take our budget over. It does, but not so much that it's problematic with six million, nearly seven million simoleons in the bank. So I can take this and uh, concentrate a bit more on everything over here. So first thing is that I'm going to uh, implement uh, some uh, additional uh, zoning over here. Actually, first off, I'm going to save the game. Okay, now I'll implement some additional zoning here. And a lot of this is going to be commercial. This road is in a fixed spot, so it's going to stay. Um, I'll come up. Uh, I'll have a road come up. Nope. I'll have the road come up. Actually, no, I'll put it where I was originally going to. And from here... bring it across uh, I need a road over 
here like so let's try to get that slightly there we go and bring this one over that's an eight tile gap that'll work nicely let's bring this yeah that'll work we'll bring that one that way and I think that will work out nicely okay so some zoning here like so some water to this because that is going to be a limiting factor and up like so and there we go we have water residential and this will be commercial Okay, you can see here that the budget is balanced again. Um, it's amazing how quickly you can balance a budget in SimCity uh, simply by zoning some land that there's demand for and bang. Um, okay. I'll save it again just to be safe. Now, let's see.
as you can see, I've got a pretty much perfect mayor rating going on right now. Now, uh, let's see. Hollywood. Hollywood is free. Let's see. Yeah, put it across from the zoo. Now, let's take a look at the power demand. It's inching towards 30,000. That's would be nice when it does because then we can start using the hydrogen power plants, which are quite a lot uh, smaller for the same generating capacity. Oh, that's a cute headline. Fresh mayonnaise, fine substitute for good parenting. Yeah, some pretty nutso headlines in here. Okay. So. They're up over 110,000 sims. I think over here I need to start dialing back the density some along here. Uh, go I think with medium density around the highway. But first up, and the last thing I'll do this part I think, is the sound wall along this highway. Now just like here, I'll stay out one tile from the edge of the highway which means I'll be able to expand this to an RHW6S uh, when the time comes without the shoulder overlapping the sound wall. So, first I need to get to my... there they are. Uh, I need a diagonal the other end of it. Uh, whoops, wrong one. And finish the uh, finish the wall there. And then the straight stretch. I could obviously uh, use the multi tile um, fences here but uh, this way if I need to demolish one to make a hole for a flyover I don't end up demolishing two or four fence tiles and have to replace them uh, and you know for some reason you know it's just just my preference really I prefer the uh, single tile placements. Anyway, uh, somewhere along here things will have to change when I change this. So, anyway, uh, just like over here, I'm going to bring a street out here and along the fence here like so 
and this is also going to be industrial. First up, let's look at the water situation. And as I thought, I'll bring, I'll run a water main up the highway. It just seems to make sense. Okay. And that means we can water the uh, sound walls too. Now, this area is also going to be industrial. Remember, this is an industrial strip along the highway here. Uh, yes, and in here as well. Okay. Excellent. And finally, I'll bring the uh, forest strip down. And make sure I got the right one here. Pine, yep. While I'm doing this, I'm going to mention briefly a new uh, city building simulation title that's in development. Uh, it's called Cities Skylines. Uh, so far, the uh, pre-alpha gameplay videos released by the uh, makers of the game uh, look quite good. Uh, it looks like we'll have quite a lot of flexibility, a lot of the flexibility that uh, it would be nice if SimCity 4 had. Um, it's not going to be constrained to a rigid grid. And it looks like uh, it will have uh, much larger possible cities, <clears throat> which um, for a, cer a certain uh, class of player is uh, is going to be uh, quite a selling point. Uh, I know I like the, to build large um, uh, cities. Um, it looks like I have some potential issues with the zoo. Um, anyway, um, those of us that like the uh, open-ended uh, simulation with a growing city uh, will have a lot more um, opportunities to, um, well, generally lay out the cities the way we want. Um, the uh, Skylines uh, videos show uh, uh, full interchanges being built, uh, ramps running at random angles, uh, roads, buildings, everything going at uh, random angles. And it has all sorts of things, including water dynamics and so on, which means um, uh, you know things like dams and so on can be effective. And that should add quite a dimension to the gameplay a dimension you don't get with uh, the likes of uh, Sim City. Um, apparently, not even with the 2013 uh, uh, release from uh, from EA. Uh, now, uh, also, uh, as I understand it, Skylines is supposed to be released for Linux as well as Windows, uh, which will make it a uh, you know, possibly uh, uh, a much better title for me to tinker with. It's not due for release until sometime in 2015, but uh, it's worth checking out. There's some uh, playthrough videos on YouTube from the creators and what they've shown so far 
uh, looks quite nice. Um, they've demonstrated a few bugs as well, but hey, it's pre-alpha. Uh, and some of those bugs are quite amusing to watch in action. So, uh, it's, it, you know, really, if you're into this sort of game at all, uh, you're doing yourself a service to watch those. It's, it's, it's quite good. Now let's see about City Zoo. Huh. Where did I... Anyway. Well, this seems to have filled in nicely here. Um, as you can see, even those little tiny lots can grow fairly big uh, buildings, um, uh, which is uh, quite nice when you're trying for density. Uh, anyway, uh, probably next time I'll uh, I'll fill in over on this side up to the highway and I may start developing over here and, you know the theory being that development tends to follow major roads and uh, you know then people like to live by the green spaces that also means I'm going to end up uh, working on uh, sound walls and stuff along here as well uh, simply because, well, it's a highway and you don't want to live beside a noisy road. Uh, you don't even want your uh, office beside it. Oh, I see buildings are still being constructed here. And the population's still going up. What's the demand like? Ah, high tech demand has gone up again. And the commercial demand is, is positive on all sectors now. Uh, that's quite nice. Now let's take a look at how the um, where is it power demand is doing. It hasn't quite reached the level needed for the hydrogen plant yet. Okay, and next time also I might start uh, filling in the some lower density stuff over here as well. Um, as you can see, this is staying quite well. Um, what I need, to, what I should do here, that's not filling in because it's the wrong size. That may fill in now. Okay. Now let's take a look here. Uh, interesting that it's talking about uh, the lions and stuff being on the lamb when there's no options to adjust the uh, funding on the zoo so it might be actually no it has water so that's not it either um, well, let's let's bring uh, water down along here at least I'm sure the Hollywood people will appreciate it and with the zoo here okay it's getting its okay um, uh, looking at the time now I think I'm going to call it a part here um, yeah, I'll call it a part here. So, uh, back to the region. Anyway, <clears throat> the 
so this makes for uh, the end of part eight. That means this is roughly eight hours of playtime. It's a little bit more when you count the crash from the previous part. Um, and as you can see, you can make a fair amount of headway in a relatively short period of time. And as you can see also, the city has basically become sustainable. Um, and it's starting to look quite substantial as well. Uh, and as this develops, these green spaces are going to look a little less stark. Um, like here, uh, with it coming down to the boundaries, uh, it doesn't look quite so out of place. And it'll look even less so when it's developed over here and up here. Uh, the idea I'm going for is basically uh, we have a fairly, uh, you know, sort of like a boreal forest uh, against the mountains here. But uh, that, that's the notion that's in my head. Uh, I'm not going to spend the time opening up all these city tiles and adding forests and so on. It's just, it's too much effort for no real gain. And I'm, I'm not really trying to make a mayor diary or, or do a special um, layout or whatever. So, you know, I'm not into the artistic stuff really on that front. So, anyway, um, that's it for part eight. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.